There we go. Thank you for permissioning us. <clears throat> Welcome everybody. This is our fourth class for the new module for, um, uh, for basics and fundamentals in Tai Chi. And today we're gonna be uh, working on moving forward uh, in it, in it, we moved forward a little bit last time. We're going to really work on that. We're going to work on opening our qua, much like we open our, our shoulders in order to do some of that. We're going to be working on the bow step. So these are all really important fundamentals that we're going to use as we learn brush knee and push, which is going to really come up in terms of instruction next week. But today we're also going to be pitching balls and having some more imaginative fun. So I hope you guys enjoy that uh, as, we, as we do our work together today. So I wanna build off a lot of what we've already done. I mean, we're in class four now and you guys have a lot in your Tai Chi toolkits. And some of you, some of you, I, I see Yukiko is here this morning um, and she's been with me uh, from the start of this, I think. So yeah, so that's just really wonderful. And she takes lots of Tai Chi classes and has lots of skills. So it's nice, nice to see her with us today. Um, all right, so let's um, start here with our, our feet shoulder width apart. You kind of know the drill, right? If I say prepare, you're gonna prepare yourself. What, what are some of the things you're gonna do? Oh, find yourself a cloud, right? Make it a nice cloud, not a dark cloud, a fluffy cloud. Out of that fluffy cloud is gonna come maybe uh, some sort of force of attraction to just lift your spirit and the very, very top of your head, expanding your spine. That's nice. And at the same time, remember that sticky planet? So imagine why it's sticky. Is it, is it gravity? Is it stickiness? Whatever it is, maybe it's taffy. Something you don't mind, but you're really hooked. Uh, Kelly said the other day, Velcroed. Your feet are just Velcroed. In fact, you feel the bottoms of your feet. And those gentle pulls from the bottom and from the top is gonna to extend your whole spine, giving your nervous system just everything that it needs right now to be in Tai Chi with us. Your arms are hanging down. It's like, it's like your body is completely suspended. And we could, we could turn our heads, explore our heads a little bit, keeping that nice extension that you've got. Kind of feels good. Back to center. How about those knees? Gently, gently. Did they almost lock on you? Mine usually do. Remember, we're gonna just sort of pretend to sit in a chair, reach down, reach down with your butt for that chair a little bit and come up, but try to leave that butt kind of in that reaching position. And now feel the extension in your spine without hardening your knees or arching your back at all. Just let that lower back be long. Nice. Oh, you guys look fabulous. And how about those shoulders? Don't want you to forget about, oh, you can just like, almost like get a hoodie. You put it over, it comes down in the front. Then it comes up, back and up, over your head and down. Oh. This is the perfect way to start a Saturday. And then back the other way, you're gonna come a little bit forward. It doesn't have to be far over your head. 
it doesn't have to be jammed into the back, but now down, down, the down feeling is what you really want. Little forward, up, and down. And one more, up, and down. Nice. These are the kinds of things you can do before you come to class too. And we can just remember how last week we turned our upper torso without turning our legs. So I want you to, sometimes this is a lot easier. I want you to, to think about this. Come down, sit in that chair a little bit, however far you want. This may work your quads. That should, if you can relax, reaching for that chair with your but you ought to be able to see that you can turn more with your upper body. It helps to stabilize your lower body. It also helps to unlock your pelvis in your sacroiliac joint. So let's uh, do that. This is looking good, guys. And remember, I don't wanna see something like this where you take your whole legs and hips with you. No, the hips, the hips stay back and your upper body turns nice. Nice. All right, very good. And we can warm up our ankle a little bit. If you want, you can lift it up if you're very stable. And if you're not very stable, you can put that toe down. And if you're not really stable at all, you can put the, even the ball of your heel down. It doesn't matter. Work on whatever you wanna work with. And your other foot. Usually somebody can find their level here. You know, like what is it you wanna work on? But again, you're working on being very, very straight as if your back is still suspend, you're still being stretched and the foot that's holding you has got you good into the ground. Fabulous. All right, let's get ourselves into that prepare position. Glued to the floor, whole foot, every part of our foot, weight equally divided, hooked to our cloud, suspended body, soft knees, but reaching just a tiny, tiny bit for the floor. It's if you are about to sit down and you're straight. And we're gonna feel an expansion across the back of our shoulders. It's gonna turn our arms and then our arms are gonna float up, remember, it's as if there's a stick that goes from your arms out the back of your shoulders and it was being pushed down, nice. And then we relax our elbows first and come down. This is opening. We'll do it again like that. We're going to get back into this prepare position, soft knees and across our backs. Now remember that stick, someone's pushing that stick down the fulcrum. The fulcrum is at your shoulders and your arms just go up effortlessly as they're levered up. And then you push down much like you're pushing a ball into water. Now we're gonna coordinate our lower body and our upper body as we do this again. So coming up, being levered up. There's no effort here at all because the shoulders are going back. And now we're gonna start to drop our knees a little bit as we push down. So we can't push anymore and then just come up. Feel as you come up and down that your head is still hooked to the cloud, that your backbone is still extended, and that butt is gonna reach, reach, reach now for the chair. 
Yeah. And up. And down. If you want, you can inhale and exhale. Nice. Now this time, watch my arms and mirror me. We're going to come out. Keep those shoulders down. That lever is still there in the back, keeping those shoulder blades down. Nice. How is your spine doing? Is it still kind of extended? When you go down, do you drop, but still feel like your head is in the cloud? Oh, this is lovely, guys. And this time we're gonna come up and you can put your are your legs wherever they're comfortable and hug a tree. Hug a tree, feel that tree. I want you to grow that tree now, grow that tree. Keep your arms attached to it, grow that tree and come in. Nice. Grow that tree. And now we're gonna come in and turn our arms like they're holding a ball here, but they're gonna go past a little bit. Nice, keep a tree there. Don't let yourself, don't let yourself get too close. Don't be like this, be like this. And you see how it's like I'm holding the ball here, but now I'm gonna kind of stretch it out and close this ball. We'll be working with this shape for a while. See how my elbows are kind of almost staying at the same height? Nice. Now, you know what? We're gonna power this turn. As we come this way, we're gonna keep the lower part of our body in the same place and the upper part is going to turn and as we open we're going to come back to center and then we're going to power this turn to the other side and come back to center oh my gosh two things at once feeling relaxed in those shoulders but feeling extended it's like you've got a, a tree there we're gonna smush as we turn and open as we come back to center. Nice. This hand's gonna go on top, smush to turn, open. This hand's gonna go on top, smush to turn and close. Open, nice, all right, relax. How's that feeling for folks? I got, a, I got some of these, I got some of these. Okay, so do you feel it in your shoulders? Do you feel it in your arms? You feel, you feel a little tension in your shoulders? Oh, cool. Let me tell you about this. This is really, really cool. So, um, so this position in particular is going to feel like it tires you out for a while. And you're going to feel a little bit here. I mean, if you're feeling it like up here, then that's, that's you doing what you do when you do this, right? <laughs> it's a computer. But if you're feeling it in here, this is your body trying to extend and connect in a new way. And as you do it, your connective tissue is going to go, hmm, this is a good idea. And little, and it's going to get easier and easier. So I want to tell you that this is not going to, like, I can sit, I can be like this for a long time. And I don't know why, when that happened, I remember what it used to feel like. So if you're ever like, 
oh my gosh, Dee Dee, we're going too long with that. That's what it is. Yeah, I see Yukiko is doing this. Yeah, I mean, it, it does, doesn't it, Yukiko? Over time, you just kind of, it gets easier. And it isn't that you're stronger, it's that your connective tissue is reorganizing itself into this position where every part of you is taking a piece of what's going on of, of the job. So that's, that's where we are. All right, I wanna now remember, we were just opening and closing here and doing some other stuff and turning. Um, I want you to remind you of this joint. And now I wanna remind us of, of, of this joint, right? So there's this one, remember that? So if we're sitting here just a little bit and we shift over and we come out, taking that whole hip, that whole hip, uh, well, nice, just get, get that back, kind of warm that up. And we did, we did knee bumps, didn't we? So we can go bump, back, bump, back, bump, back, bump, back, bump. Take a moment to check, is this knee still in the right place? Did you actually open? Or did this one start to move over? Make sure you're good. And back, bump, knees and toes in the same line. This is gonna keep you safe. Nice. And the other side. Doing this, you can do it as an exercise. You can be waiting for your coffee. You can go as deep as you want. Just make sure you're bumping your knees in the right directions. Always knee going out in the direction where it would go over your toes. Nice. All right. Now we're gonna work on the bow step and add these knee bumps in a little bit more. I see, I see uh, some of you are have been working hard. So yeah, if, if that feels good, do that. That's really good. All right, here we are. We're gonna shift a little over here and knee bump out onto the other side, right? We're gonna bring our weight over and we call this sitting in Tai Chi. Make sure at this moment, you're knee bumped in the right way. Get all of your weight on this foot. That may take a moment and then unfold this other foot. Remember how we grabbed the sticky planet with our heel of, of this foot over here? And we pushed with this foot and turned to the corner, right? So we are open to the corner and we had our bodies to the corner. At the end of last time, we also played with maybe moving this. We'll, we'll hold that off for now until later uh, in this class. Now what I want you to do is push with that front foot a little bit backwards so that you're kind of on a surfboard or you could think of yourself as kind of a gorilla or, or it's, a, it's an earthquake or you know, just feel it. Yeah, feel it. Because when you start doing that and you've bent your knees, you're gonna feel, again, you're gonna unlock this pelvis a little bit and it's gonna be able to sit better. And that's gonna make it easier for you to open. If you don't sit a little bit, if you're up like this uh, completely, then it's a lot harder to do the next thing we're gonna do. So get on your surfboard. Petey, or, yeah. I have a question. So when you're still in the sit position, when you're yes. on, the, on the surfboard, do you, I'm noticing, I don't know if I should sit and tuck and untuck my pelvis or tuck it in. Oh, what a phenomenally <laughs> good question. Okay, so, um, so I got this question in the other class as well. Uh, so um, um, Molly asked, she said, when Pilates, they tell me to sort of zip up my, my jeans, which I gather is something like this. Um, so to zip up my jeans, and you see what that does, that, that, that pulls this in. But I'm also telling you to, um, 
to come down, right? I'm telling you to reach, which, you know, like that would feel funny, like sit in a chair that tucked in would actually feel wrong, wouldn't it? Like try that, imagine zip here and go and try to think of sitting in the chair. You'd like, well, wait a minute, my, my butt's in the wrong place, right? So um, what you wanna do, what we actually wanna do is we wanna take that spine we've been extending and we want to let it at the bottom expand, expand down and in a little bit, but simultaneously, so I'm gonna overdo it. I'm gonna expand down and in, and that's wrong, right? But if I simultaneously expand at the top, it puts it back in the right position. So my spine is a little bit like this and the two, remember how I'm always talking about top and the bottom? You wanna do both at once. Got it? Okay, fabulous question. We're gonna come back here, do this on the other side and then go on. So we've been knee bumping, right? So we're gonna, knee bump out here, move, move our weight over and sit. All of our weight, feel a Tai Chi pole so that you're one pole all the way from here to here, unfold this other leg because there's no weight on it anymore. Then we're gonna go stand in the corner, sticky planet. There's this point when you're kind of almost on that surfboard and then the back knee straightens front knee over your toe, open here. Now I want you to come back and I want you to get on your surfboard, okay? So both knees are bent. The front one, maybe not quite as much as it was before. Both knees are bent. Now from this position, and you've got almost equal weight or maybe equal weight, I want you to knee bump out this one, turn this one out. Now, if you've taken a big step, this may be hard. So next time, take a smaller step. <laughs> um, so, and when you do, you're gonna notice that, that you're open at both of these places. And then I want you to push with this leg over here, push. You're gonna move yourself, your Tai Chi pole all the way over here and just come stand in the corner. Fabulous, fabulous. Now, from here, I want you to get on that first foot, the one that's, that's sort of on this side. And I just want you to, don't take a big step. I want you to reach out, shoulder width apart, like you had your train tracks. And I want you to now, I want you to transfer that weight, smush down onto that sticky planet go through that spot where you're both at the, you're both bent, and then I want you to straighten this back leg. Okay, fabulous. Now come back, come back, feel that uh, surfboard or that rocky ground, remember rocky ground? You've done this before, you did it naturally. And then I want you to have to move your weight into your heel on this side and do it again. Open. Now you're really open. Again, it'll be easier to open if you relax here. Nice. Push. Let this foot pivot on the ball. This one over here, if it wants to. And just see, I'm heading towards the corner. I'm gonna go stand in the corner. There we go. There I am. Do you see how we're moving forward? This is called Tai Chi walking. We do this a lot in Tai Chi. So let's, let's, uh, let's just see if we can do this. We'll be practicing this a lot in the weeks to come. So we're gonna shift our weight over to this side little bit, we're gonna turn out on this other side and knee bump as we sit down and move our weight. Unfold this foot, 
smush that left foot, you know, just kind of stick it to the ground, push with the back foot, and you're completely to the corner. I'm looking your way, but you can, and you're probably looking my way, but you're completely to the corner. Fabulous. Push with the front foot, bend both knees, be on your surfboard or be a gorilla or whatever you want. You're relaxed here. Weight is now moved to your heel of this foot, heel pad, and you turn out. You knee bump out, but you, you're not going to go down because you're already down. Push with the back foot. Absorb with the front. Come stand in the corner. Out. Shift. Spread in the corner, back leg is straight, front leg is bent, knees, are, there's none of this going on. These hips to the corner, nothing like this going on, hips to the corner. We're gonna push with the back foot. Oh, wait a minute, not yet, come back. <laughs> Get on your surfboard, sorry. <laughs> We're going to turn out, turn out, push with the back foot, go stand in the corner. And eventually, you don't even have to put this foot down. Just let it pass through, come out, and you're going to push with the back foot, absorb with the front foot, turn your hips. Nice. All right, let's shake it out. Because if you've been really pushing and really holding, you may find that that was a workout for you. How was that? I saw some nods with the workout part. Okay, we're gonna come back to this later. Because um, just like we did, uh, invented the bow step, we're gonna invent um, some stuff that we're gonna use in uh, brush knee and push. And it's not too far away from what we're doing. Any questions though, before we get there? Okay, so with two other people taking a sip of coffee, I'm gonna do that too. Okay, there's five of us now. For those of us who are in this time zone, it's nine o'clock on Saturday morning, and it's, you know, it's time for coffee. All right, yeah, yeah, exactly. So uh, this is absolutely fine in this class. All right, so we were on rocky ground and we shot arrows and we've walked on sticky planets in this class. Uh, today, we're gonna pitch some balls. So um, I want these to be overhand. So I, you might be like the best underhand player uh, but I want, I want, I want you to, to be throwing balls overhand. So just for the moment, you know, get yourself a ball, get yourself a ball, whatever hand works for you. I'm ambidextrous. So one's a little better than the other, but you know, like I want you to, to just throw some balls. So, so throw some balls. How do you do that? Really imagine doing it like, 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 I'm going farther away, mom. I'm going farther away, dad. Come on, give me a big one. All right, do it again. Yeah, come on, do it again. Like, what are you going to have to do? It's a little windy, too. What are you going to have to do? Oh, she's got a ball. Go, Elizabeth. <laughs> Don't really throw it. <laughs> this sounds great. All right, so, so I want you now to pay attention. I want you to do it some more. Don't hurt yourself. I want you to think about, okay, maybe I'm a Russell Wilson if you're from this part of the country. He's, he's the Seahawks quarterback. Um, how, how am I doing that? It's one of those big, those big ones, you know? How do, how do I do that? I want you to think about that and I want you to slow it down. Just kind of do it and slow it down. Ah, I love, I love it. You keep going. Okay. Oh my gosh. I saw, I saw more extension from one of you. 
I saw, I saw, I saw some follow through with some of you. Yeah, what do you think? Probably haven't thrown a ball recently. <laughs> nice, okay. I want you to pay attention now. I want you to do it a few more times. I know you're probably saying, do I really need to do this? I want you to be very careful of your joints. We're gonna talk about that when you're doing it. And I want you to um, think about what's happening. How would you describe this to somebody who had never seen it? What is your body doing in order to throw that ball? Okay, so do you shift your weight? Do you, um, you know, what, what happens with your arms? What happens with your torso? What happens? So do it again and pay attention. Okay. Now I'm going to throw you a ball and you're going to have to do it. Like this, we're, we're going to be at, um, at uh, uh, baseball, I guess, you know, right? So I'm gonna throw to you, you're like on second base and you've got to like uh, uh, throw it to third, okay? So here we go. There's your ball and throw it to third. Oh, wow. Yukiko, you've got power. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> She's the only one I saw, but let's do it again. Here you go. All right, so so I'm seeing some really interesting things. Did you guys notice anything? I would really like to hear what you have to say. Well, twisting. Twisting. Elizabeth said there's some twisting. Yeah. Oh, Sarah um, says so too. Yeah, Crystal. Yeah, as you're throwing, you kind of like shift your weight toward the direction you want to throw the ball. Okay, so there's a shifting of weight as you throw it, your weight moves in the direction you want to throw the ball. Does other people feel that's true? And, and Elizabeth said that you're twisting. Um, does, is that related to throwing the ball too? Yeah. I'm seeing a lot of it. What's twisting? Turning your upper body. Your upper body, it is twisting. So, so part of what this course is about is giving you something that, you know, we can talk about and you can bring all the stuff your body already knows into your Tai Chi. So let me capture some of that stuff for you. So sometimes people notice in the other class, another thing people notice, one of the first things they do is a, a, foot, a foot either goes back or they put their weight back on a foot. And, and then they kind of wind up and, and maybe a foot goes out. It might or might not go out, but they're kind of, they're like a coiled spring. Do you ever have that feeling when you're getting ready to do this? Like, oh, I'm ready, right? Is there a ready point? See if you can, um, oh, Sarah's going, yes. Oh, you nailed it. Oh, yes, yes. There's a ready point, right? When you know you're ready to throw. So see if you can like find that point on you. You know, when, when is that point? And, and where are you? Are you here? Are you here? Are you here? Are you here? Where are you? And is your body really close to itself or has it stretched out? I'm seeing you could go like this, right? She's like, she's like stretched out and one arm is back and she's kind of uh, sideways or cornerways. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm seeing that with, with Sarah. So just what it is in your body when you do it, some of you have done a lot of that and some of you haven't. Um, I mean, a lot of throwing, I can tell by watching you. <laughs> like, oh, I haven't done this in decades or, oh, I did this yesterday. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> getting some of this too. Yeah, no, I, just throwing is not something I do. Keep it small, keep it safe if, if you know, don't want to pull anything out. All right. So there is this sort of feeling of readiness or storage. And, and your weight is, 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 at least my weight is, is, is back, right? And then there's this transfer of weight, is there? That's what we heard. 
there's this transfer of weight forward with, but does your back foot come up? It can in some sports, people can follow through like this. Some pitchers do that, right? Some pitchers do that, they go, Whew. right? They do that. But um, most people who throw a ball who have to throw more than one, because pitchers are kind of, they, they don't. They, they solidify their body at the end of it. And there's kind of a finished moment and both of their feet are on the ground. So explore that a little bit when you're throwing. Imagine that you're throwing and you're getting ready. There's that moment when you're ready and then you throw that ball. And when are you releasing it? Where's your body when you're releasing it? You may notice too that you've knee bumped instinctively wherever your feet are. This knee is right in front right, go in the same direction as your toe. Um, this is a good thing. If you don't have a habit to do that, then that could be a problem for you long-term if you wanna be a pitcher. So things we've noticed, weight shifts back, you're ready, forward as you're throwing. And then another thing that uh, you probably won't notice right away is that your front foot stops you from falling over. So you get ready, there's that ready moment and your foot comes out and then you transfer some of that weight, both feet are on the ground. And at some point your front foot either stops you from going over or you decide that you're gonna take a step, depending on what kind of game you're playing, all right? So there's all of that that's going on. Uh, anything else you noticed? You probably looked where it was going. I noticed that when I shift forward after releasing the ball that my, the leg in the, in behind me twists and I go up on my toe and I have a feeling that's probably not good for my joints, <laughs> right? Probably. Uh, I think if you're enough on your toe and you're enough, you see where my, I'm balanced here. If you're really on your toe and releasing that back foot, you, you're just putting all your energy there. If this energy is going down well, and you're probably all right. But if you're talking about turn in your whole hips, um, yeah. not yet, I would say, and, and not in our brand of Tai Chi. Um, there are, there are, uh, there are ways to do it more safely. If this, if this back leg is really, is really straight, you can get away with a lot more than if, if it's, if it's not, it's gonna, it's gonna get you right <laughs> right in here. I noticed it in my knee and I was like, oh, that's probably not a good idea. <laughs> right. So let's look at that. Yeah, let's look at that. So remember how we done that we've done the knee bumps. So if you take your knee with you, do you see where this knee ends up hanging out? Not where you're in line with letting the force come straight out your body, but instead it's here. So the force comes up to your knee and then has to transfer and your whole body weight is coming down at a time you're moving. So this is why I am just so fanatical, have you noticed, about knee bumps? Got it? Fabulous. Okay, so, um, so what we're gonna be doing as we move forward is we're gonna be learning uh, and we're gonna go into the arms next week. We're gonna be, um, we're gonna be starting to learn a really lovely sequence of moves that are brush knee and push. And I'm gonna show you them now, but you do not need to do them. I just want you to kind of see them. So, so we're going to basically sort of throw a strike. You see that? 
And then we're going to get ready and we're going to turn this foot out. You see, that's that stuff we made. That's that, that Tai Chi walking. We're going, to, we're going to kind of as if we're going to stand in the corner and we're going to get ready to throw another strike. This is a strike here. And then we're going to get ready again. So if I did this fast, which nobody ever does, um, it would look like, it would look like, it would look like this. Do you see? It would look kind of like I was throwing. But we don't, in the martial art, we do this, but in the form, we don't do this. Elizabeth, you had a question or a comment? Mm -hmm. No? Okay, great. All right, so this, this is lovely. We're learning to move forward. So we're able, we'll, we'll be able to sort of throw our arms. And I didn't make much of it, but remember we were talking about last week and this week about, and you just noticed it, at the moment, you really power that throw, right? You turned your upper body. And if at that moment, Sarah pointed out, you turn your hips too, what happens? Your knee will hang out in a bad zone, in an ouch zone. So when you release, only your upper body goes, only your upper body. Another thing we've talked about are trees, you know? We've talked about, we haven't emphasized this, we're gonna be emphasizing it more as we go forward. We don't ever go like this in Tai Chi. We always, it could be a big West Coast tree, like a 500 year old tree, or it could be kind of an, uh, a 300 year old East Coast tree, or, you know, it could be a little tiny tree, but we, excuse me, we are never like this. And this is because that endangers these joints. So if you want, if you get interested in this and you might go online and look at professional coaches and what they tell like, uh, people who throw footballs and people who throw baseballs, they will tell other coaches, like if it's a coaching clinic, they will tell other coaches, don't ever let their shoulders open far because then look what happens. You're back here and it's just like your knee hanging out. It, all this force is, is taken up here versus if what they're doing is this, and we'll be practicing this a lot next week, what they're doing is this, and they, they're turned sideways. So you see, it's just here, but there's this optical illusion that's gonna look back. Then, then when I come forward, I'm not putting stress during this, this time when there's a lot of energy going through and being transmitted through my shoulder, I'm not putting stress here. So if any of you felt that this was a, a, a little bit of a problem, you felt something here, you're gonna wanna develop the ability to always keep your arms at least in a big tree circle. And we're gonna be working on this because this is a basic skill in Tai Chi and it's a skill in life because you don't want to have that arm hanging out like this. Good? All right, keep you guys safe. All right. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're just about at the end of our time. So let's cool down with... Uh, I can come, I've, I've moved my lines a little bit. Oh, I see what the problem is. No wonder you guys have been... Hang on, I'm gonna turn off and turn right back on.
There we go. No wonder I seem so far away. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, this is where we're supposed to be. All right. So let's uh, let's close. And by closing, what I want us to do is go into that prepare again. You should be developing your own mental checklist right now. So. What are the images you want to use that are going to extend your spine, relax your body and suspend it, lift your spirit, help you feel connected to the earth and the sky, soften that lower back and those knees. And then we're going to, we're going to, Feel that pulling across our shoulders to protect them. It's going to turn our upper arms. And they're going to float up because something's like pushing down in the back using our shoulder as a fulcrum. And then this wave. And we're going to push down. So we can't push anymore. And then we're going to do this again, feeling extended as if there's a pole, like our arms are extended out the back and it's being pushed down with a fulcrum at our shoulders. And now we're just going to play with the idea, imaginative ideas of Expanding, feeling with some helium, filling with some helium. Our arms float up and they're very full. And then it starts to go out from the upper arms first. And now we're pushing down. We're actually pushing down a ball into the water. And we're going to drag our fingers through the warm sand. Feel that sand, grab some up, raise up on your toes if you're able, come down. Drag your fingers through the sand. Feel it. It's sunny. Up, down. Inhale. Hold, exhale, feel it go through your fingers. And one last time, really enjoy this one. Thank you all. Thank you. If you have any final questions or anything, I'm I'm here for a little while. I just wanted to know: is the Saturday class a repeat of Wednesday's class? Um, yes and no. Uh, sometimes it benefits from the fact I'm doing it a second time. <laughs> uh, but yes. It is. This is the only one that repeats in our school, but we have some people who come twice and some people who um, who can only come one of the times. And I try to design it so that, you know, if you want, you can think of this as a practice or a review of what you did before um, and that nobody's left behind if they only come once. But um, yeah. so we have some people who come both times. Uh, Rima comes both times usually. So. Yeah. So you're, if you're, if you're not coming both times, you're very welcome. <laughs> I'm still getting to know people, Elizabeth. So <laughs> um, enjoyed that. Bye Crystal. Okay. Looking, Bye. looking forward thank to you. connecting more with you. So. Thank you yeah. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye guys. Have a good weekend. Thank you. I will. Yeah. Thank you.